So I got my Arduino out for the first time in a while earlier this morning and I've been wanting to do this project for a while but I just hadn't gotten around to it. Um, the project itself is, well the, the, the wiring of it is pretty simple as you can see there's the one button and three LEDs all wired up on the proto shield on top of the Arduino itself but the real challenge and core of the project is in the software. Now what this was inspired from was I'd seen a video on a project a while back from a guy who had created basically what was a keyless entry system for his for his room where he had the Arduino and a ser servo hooked up to his deadbolt um, and he had a piezo buzzer detecting the knocks on the door so if he knocked on the door in a certain pattern the Arduino would be would recognize that pattern and would turn the servo and which would in result unlock the door uh, or turn the deadbolt to the open position well what I thought is that in order to implement this in, in reality I wouldn't necessarily want the knock to be what was opening the door because that's audible to other people obviously so it'd be much easier for people to figure out around me in my apartment complex or next door what was happening so so instead I opted for opted for the little button which is you know much quieter much much more difficult to perceive so so what I have here is um for right now I have it to where it's an input of it's eight eight inputs and right now it's long short short long long short 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 so tap basically one two three four one two three four so I'll show you here if I do that one two three four one two three four and we get a green light and there's a bit of a, a bit of a fudge factor so you don't have to be exact but it's it's pretty restrictive so you, you, know, you can't just kind of accidentally get it we'll try it again So we're good there. Now, the way I have it calculating in code is it's a ratio of the proportions between the long and short segments. So let me try it here. It might be kind of difficult, but you can actually slow it down quite a bit. Like, see, that still worked. So if I just do eight random inputs to the get go, just straight line, obviously that's not the correct correct ratio between long and short and if I do something kind of random that again is not the correct ratio so again long and the door would the door would open obviously this is just a proof of concept because I would actually have to wire this up to um, to the motor and also for security reasons I probably would probably will disengage the yellow LED so there's no actual response when you input so that it's really just a matter of you know, you'd have to know that there's eight inputs in order to be able to even figure out what to do so let me show you one more time and I'll give you a little explanation of the code. I'm going to try to give you a fairly quick explanation of sort of what's happening here. Um, this is basically the default state and because it's an eight input sequence there's seven gaps. Obviously if there's eight inputs there's seven spaces between those inputs. So what you see here is the A0, A1, A2, etc. is the seven different gaps and so basically, in this, in this reset state, it's waiting for my input. It's just cycling through, just waiting for the button to be pushed. So right now, nothing's being pressed. You'll see here, I'll push the button. You'll notice the, some, some values there on the left changing. Now, a lot of this is done just for debugging for my, for my purposes when I was creating it. But what it's waiting on is waiting for me to release the button, because I wanted to measure the, the intervals between, so it's actually waiting for me to release. And you'll see when I release, 
that some numbers will start streaming and that's it counting. And so it starts counting and when I release and then when I push the button again it stops counting and takes the value that it got to, that it reached, and stores it in the first section, or the first part of the array rather, which is A0. So here I release, push again. You see A0 is now 119. Uh, that's, I guess that's in milliseconds. So then I'll release, push again. Next one's 124. I'll do a little quicker this time. So see we got a 47 there and A2, et cetera, et cetera. 92, A4, A9, A5, And now when I do this last one, what it does is it, I have programmed in there which ones should be long and which ones should be short. And so it takes the average of the longs and average of the shorts and then calculates a float value, which is a decimal value, um, and it compares that value against the range that I have preset. So if the value falls within that range, then it's good. If it doesn't, then it's not. So you have success for the good number and failure for the for the bad one. So as you saw in there, I don't know if you saw that 0.92, that was the final calculation here. I'll I'll do a uh, do a quick one. See if you can catch the number down there. Right. There, 2.02. So that that was the value that it calculated from averaging what should be long and short. Now for this one right now, I have it set up to where it needs to be between, I believe it's 3 and 4.5, which sounds pretty generous. But through tinkering with it, I figured out that it, unless you know which one should be long and short, it's very it's it seems very very difficult to stumble upon it. That's assuming you even know that there should be eight inputs. So. I think it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good system. I'll have to test it a lot more, but so we'll try it here. Let me let it, uh, let me let it reset itself. I have it set up to where if it goes long enough without any kind of input like that, like you see, it streams up to f the 500, then it'll or 499, it'll reset itself. So, so here I'll do the, uh, I'll do the set sequence. So, up, 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 up. So 3.26 was good. Like I said, it's anything between um, anything between 3 and 4.5. So 3.21. So that's good. Um, I'm getting green lights down here too. So 3.29. So a lot more right now on the lower side. But so anyways, um, you know, it's fairly basic code. I had to. I had to do quite a bit of looking around to figure out exactly how to do it, but you know, for a for a pretty easy to wire project, it was, it was kind of fun just having to figure out the code for it. So, hopefully in the future I'll be able to implement this into an actual actual system to unlock the door. But for now, it was more just a proof of concept. So, hope you liked it.